All right, you decide 2014. The primary for the governor's race is just six weeks away. Uh, and then, of course, early voting is actually earlier than that. So this morning, we're taking a closer look at the top candidates in the Republican race for governor. Here is Stan Barnes. Stan is with uh, a Copper State Consulting Group. He's here with a look at uh, who these candidates are, their strengths, and the biggest hurdles each face. Nice to see you Good again. Good to be on TV with you, Rick. <laughs> Great. Appreciate it. Great. I know you uh, watch our show regularly. I do. Yes. You must be a big distraction in your office. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to start with this man here, oh. uh, Scott Smith. What are his qualifications, do you think? Yeah, this, Scott brings a lot to the table. He, uh, he's the uh, mayor of Mesa, or was the immediate what? past mayor of Mesa. Mm -hmm. his, his strengths are uh, his depth, his policy depth, and uh, his natural base. In the East Valley is a high turnout Republican base, and that's his. Scott Smith was mayor there. He grew up there. His father was superintendent of schools there. Mm -hmm. He's got a deep taproot in the East Valley and a great reputation out there of policy substance. That's what he brings to the table. He's also, his background is in home building. And wasn't he president of a couple of uh, home companies? He was. That... He has a lot of success in the public, in the private sector, as right. do some of the candidates. But he has a, an, an even uh, more remarkable success in the public sector as leader of Mesa. Okay, negatives? Uh, negatives are, um, well, they all suffer from a certain name ID uh, that they don't have mm -hmm. statewide. And so far, uh, he has not raised quite the money he's wanted. So he hasn't been on television as much as some of the other candidates. Boy, I'll agree with that, because all you see are ads for this man yeah. and his, uh, I guess, his, the other opponent, Christine Jones, we'll get to it in a second. Right. This is Doug Ducey. Yeah, Ducey, his strength is that he's raised over $2 million. Mm -hmm. And in Arizona politics, $2 million gets you a lot of TV time. So if you're, if you're watching this show or any other show in town, you're probably watching a Ducey ad where he's telling you about himself as a successful entrepreneur in the ice cream business, the right. Cold Stone Creamery, and as state treasurer. He's, he's run for statewide office as treasurer. He won. And he's a likable guy that is kind of the mainstream Republican blue suit, red tie establishment guy. That's what he's doing. And he's doing it very well. That's, yes. a, that's a winning hand in a lot of places. And the problem he's overcome lately is uh, comes from this lady here, Christine Jones, with some of these attack ads that we're seeing. Normally we don't see stuff like that. Yeah, th what's happening because of a Supreme Court decision a few years ago, mm -hmm. anyone can spend any money on anything and, and be anonymous with that spending. Mm -hmm. And so people that support Christine Jones uh, think that Ducey is right now the lead guy and are spending money to knock Ducey down. That's the negative ads on Ducey. Ducey's friends also have their own negative ads against Christine Jones mm -hmm. and Scott Smith previously. Right. So, so independent groups that we do not know where the money's coming from mm -hmm. are spending money in the Arizona governor's race in a negative way to knock down positive players. Well, if you were to read Lori Roberts' column this morning in Arizona Republic, she says that these negative ads against Ducey from Christine Jones's camp are from her sugar daddy, Bob Parsons, former executive of GoDaddy, right. and that's where she's from, right? right? right. That's what she, are her qualifications? Well, she, she made a lot of money at GoDaddy and did very well. Uh, her qualifications are the, the old-fashioned one in politics, which is she has a lot of money, a lot of personal money. Mm -hmm. She's spent over $3 million of her own money. And that's, that's a great qualification in Arizona politics. <laughs> right. uh, her negative is uh, no one knows who she is. She has right. no political experience. And if it weren't for $3 million, she'd be just a woman in the phone book living her life. But instead, you can buy a certain degree of name ID, and that's mm -hmm. what she's done. Okay. Now, the next candidate has statewide recognition, does he not? He does. Ken Bennett mm -hmm. is our pre president secretary of state. Right. It's number two job. He's, he's one for statewide. He was a state senator and a senate president. He's from Yavapai County in Prescott. One of the most likable, honest people you ever met. He's in the publicly financed mechanism, so he has less money than the other top tier players. So you don't see them in You don't see his ads on TV. Mm -hmm. I think you'll start seeing them during August when people have a live ballot in their hand okay. and are ready to vote. That's when you'll see Ken on TV. Any negatives that you could think of? Um, Other than he doesn't have I, a lot of I money. Think them, I think it's, see, money uh, is not evil in politics. Money is a mechanism to get your voice heard. Right. And he doesn't have that. That's a big negative for Ken. Okay. Our final, final candidate is on the other side of the aisle. Yes. Uh, 
Fred Duvall, right. uh, an, an erudite and wonderful Democrat, that's his chief negative. He's a Democrat in Arizona. Right. That means he's in a registration disadvantage. He has a headwind of more Republicans and more independents, and he's got to go out and do better than just his own party. He's got a great resume. He's a, a member of the Arizona Board of Regents. He worked for the Clinton White House. Uh, he's raised a lot of money. And so he's done very well. He also doesn't have a primary, so he doesn't have to go get beat up with right. other guys shooting there. But in the general, when in Arizona is a sprint between the last week in August and the first week in November, that's 60 days. And that's when he's going to spend all his money. That's when you'll see Fred Duvall. Yeah. You'll also see negative ads against Fred. I mean, that's when the real fireworks will begin, once we nominate the Republican that, that will run against Fred in the general. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's fun. Well, you fun have to, to come back. I appreciate Stand it. Stand by us. Thank Thanks. you so very, Thanks, very much. You bet, you bet. Super informative, yes. too. Good way to lay it all out there. All right, thanks, guys.